Hey party people, what's going on? This is B Dillinger. How are you? Welcome to today's tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my tassels. That, yes, I'm going to be using leather for my projects. However, that being said, and this goes pretty much across the board of anything that I'm going to be demoing for you guys, leather is an option. It is not mandatory. You can use basically whatever you want with the exception of fabric. You want to use a faux leather, you want to use an ultra suede, you want to use a vinyl or something of that nature, you are completely free and open to do that. First is the basic one and then I will go on and I will show you the alteration part or the part that you need to do differently in order to construct the other tassels. That is what we are going to be up to today so let's get into it. Alright so the first You can check the description box down below and all the information that you need in order to do these projects will be listed for you. In the video, you're gonna need a rotary cutter. Yes, you can use a pair of scissors, but I think this is going to, you're gonna be frustrated by trying to use scissors. I just, because there's so much um, cutting for this, So what you need to figure out first is how long you want your tassel to be, how fluffy you want it to be. So usually what I'll do is I'll take a, you know, a scrap of whatever I've got or whatever I'm going to be working with, roll it up, okay, and then try to look at it and figure if, you know, because this leather is actually pretty thick, if this is going to be enough tassel. So. And then for the most part, all tassels have a, 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 a dead space. You know, I call it the neck. The thing that we want to do is we want to figure out how wide we want our neck or the top portion to be. This is very arbitrary. I'm going to say for mine, I'm going to say like an inch, an inch and a quarter. Scratch a line into it. Now, I'm not, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to take a pen or something like that and make the line because you're going to end up seeing this on your tassel on the outside and we don't want that. The sidebar I just will tell you that you need to take your tape before you apply this just take your tape and stick it on a corner or on a scrap and see if the finish comes up because sometimes tape does have a tendency to ruin see that so this is the French okay and it's all nice and even and next step is we need a loop on the inside so that it can you know we have some way to secure it you know and hang so this is that it is split so that you can open it if you want if you need to with a pair of pliers like if you can't quite get your fingers through it but what I prefer to do, because I'm not trying to do all that, I just put it on now, okay? I would be starting from this end with the, with the ring because I know that I'm going to be rolling it with the glue like that. Also, you're going to need a needle and thread for this. Um, if you're going to use, I always use 69 bonded nylon thread because it's one of the strongest threads and is appropriate for use for leather. If you don't have this kind of thread and you decide that you're going to use commercial thread, it's no problem like, you know, regular commercial cotton, mercenized, whatever the word is, thread, it's no problem. Just make sure that you take a couple extra stitches to secure it um, when you do your, when, when you do yours. I've seen this before, this is my rotary hole punch. If stitching the leather is difficult, what I do is I will, here let me show I will take my rotary hole punch and make two holes so that and I'm going to make them on both sides so that when I need to pass the needle through, I'm just going to pass them through those holes. I'm going to take my awl and see where we've made the holes. I'm just going to puncture it right there. Okay. Line, I think y'all can see that I've got all that lined up. Then I'm just going to take my needle and thread and I'm just going to use that to go through the holes. 
Okay, and so now you've just taken a couple stitches on the corner. And then, uh, you know, you just want to make sure it's on tight. Okay, so now let's move on to the, um, the portion where we need to glue this down. So um, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I've done a video, or maybe you don't know, I've done a video on glues. I highly suggest that you check that out so that you can get more familiar with the kind of glues that I recommend for leather projects. A lot. This is one of my favorites. The thing about this glue is that it does require you to glue one side and then also glue the other in order to get it to stick. So you know just kind of keep that in mind and the reason that I'm bringing it up is that if you're going to be applying glue to the outside of your project you're going to see it once you start to get to the end so you're going to need to not see it so you have to stop so you know and you won't know where to stop until you've kind of rolled this up so my suggestion is that you put a little bit on roll it up put a little bit on and then roll it up a little bit more and then just stop close to where you need to stop also my additional glue hack you know so that I keep my work surface pristine I will take a magazine and I will actually do my little gluing projects inside of the pages and then when I'm done you know after I'm done gluing I'll just take the page and just flip it and then it, you know it gives me another clean work surface I roll my tassels I roll them tight and then what I try to do is the top edge I try to keep that straight and in line with um, where I've been rolling it so that the top edge I think you can see that pull it back a little bit is my thread and I'm gonna take another stitch it is all it's all done okay and this is the basic way that you do a tassel so For this tassel, you'll need a few basic things. Acrylic paint in two colors, silver and pale gold. A few links of chain. I had some left over from another project, so I'm gonna be using that. And a charm. I got the charm from Michael's Craft Store. If you want something similar, look in the jewelry section. Okay, so here's what I did. So this part is painted. Y'all can see that. And then I put another piece of frog tape over this and I'm gonna leave this part exposed right here and then I put another piece at the top because basically what I wanna do is I wanna create a stripe. Is we want to attach our chain with charm. So I took my pair of pliers and I opened up the chain link and I'm just gonna thread that through so that it hangs from there, there's plenty of space on the little ring. And then take my pliers and close this up. And so I don't want it to hang dead center, I want to hang it off to one side. So I'm just going to grab one of these strips and then I'm going to thread it through. Okay? And then I'm going to position and then I'm just going to thread it down and up. And then I'm going to stick the strip kind of behind and just make it form its own loop. Okay, and then put a little glue on to secure it right there. And what I will do is I will just cut off the strip behind the line. So that's our tassel with chain. Alright party people, so let's get into it. So this is what we've got. So this is our fixture um, that we are going to be working with and we need to basically make this. So I want to just show you the finished pattern so that you understand how we're getting there. How this operates is if you take this and you insert it into the fixture or the hardware, however you want to call it, and then you fold it back this basically forms a loop okay and so this loop we're going to attach to the inside of the tassel so that as we flat fold it 
this is kind of contained all in one. So we need to create this pattern and it's not very difficult but I just want to walk you through the steps. So when you measure it, it's about 5 eighths of an inch. So then take your ruler and then we want half of that measurement. Okay, then what we want to figure out is the distance to go, if you look at this, the distance to go over the top and then back down. I'm just going to make something up and say a half inch. All right, and so we're just going to go, you know, on our paper up a little bit and we're just going to, you know, make a line. We're going to add a half an inch and then see this, we want this edge to be in line with the top edge of the tassel. So we need to drop it down a little bit, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to, from our line, if y'all can see this, from this inside line, we're just gonna come out. Well, let's do this too. So we need to figure out how wide we want this. And I made one once before, and it doesn't need to be that big because we're rolling it. So I'm gonna say, the strengths and measures, we want it to be about a, an inch and a half wide. So then that basically means we're gonna add three quarters of an inch to either side of this piece. Okay, see it? So you're just gonna make a little swoop. All right, it's like in the video because I should, the second time I've done it, I surely don't want to do it again. So cut, cut that. Trim away. This part, paper, fold it in half, go back down, and then we're going to cut, cut this thing. All right, and then you're going to end up with that. Then, bottom your bottom half inch mark we're gonna slice this or slice this then we're gonna fold this and slice it again and then we're gonna fold it in half and then we'll have what we need and we'll cut we'll cut that okay so let me do the first step And then that's what you're going to end up with. And then what we're going to do is when we lay this on the leather or material, whatever you're using, you're going to line it up with this top edge so that this part dips down. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do next. Right? That is where your tassel is going to come to. And then I'm just going to square them and use my scratch all. So this is our piece, right, with our shape in there. And then we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this out, we'll apply the fixture, it will fold down, and then we will roll it, and that will be our tassel. I actually so, put a piece of bonded leather, which is this type of material, on the underside to give it a little bit more structure. This is something that's optional. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to find it. It is something that I use pretty frequently when I'm doing leather goods to act as a reinforcement. I will leave a link to how to get some of this stuff if you're interested in it down below in the description box. And then you can just order a little piece to have on hand for you know any of the projects that I'm gonna be demoing. So if you'll notice that this is our pattern right and so the bonded leather as you can see is just a little bit longer you guys can fill this with a piece of paper or whatever you want like I said I'm gonna be using bonded leather and basically what I did was I just extended this down a little bit so that I could fold it and have it come back up I think you guys can see that I have it folded right there so that when I turn it when I do the flat part of it there's a structure underneath for it to be flat too I think that makes sense Anyway, so that's why I put that in there. I just wanted you guys to see that. Got all that um, done. See that? Then take your fixture, 
Okay, insert it into your ring. Then all you're going to do is you want it to fold over like that. See that? And then um, this is how it will look on the outside. And then, as I said before, you just will take all of this and you will flat. You just want to take some glue and we want to glue this, this, and this and glue all this down so that it holds together real nicely. And that And this is, looks like where it's going to end. So I'm just going to take a little piece of that. I'm going to fold it so that that becomes the back side of the tassel. And again, I'm going to take a little stitch right there just to hold it. Okay, so that's it. So we are all done. This is our, our flat finished tassel. I think you all can see that. All right, so this is where we are. So here is our finished black tassel. Um, same thing that we've done pretty much on everything else. We did give this one a longer neck. And then here is the embroidery floss that I'm gonna be using. And I just organize them in how I want the colors to go. And so let me just... I've been using the rubber cement. In this particular case, I am gonna be using the Phoebe's um, Leather Craft Cement instead. This does go on white. As you can kind of see, I've already put a little bit, dabbed a little bit on there, and then it does dry clear. And because it does dry clear, I think this is a better um, application around, so I'm going to be using that for the glue. Nothing too crazy with this one on there, and then I'm just spinning it around, and then as I'm doing each, each, lit, you know, each row of the string, I'm just pushing it up a little bit so that it stays tight, and then I'm cementing it in the back with a little bit of glue. And so then that stays. There it is. And so all we're going to, the, basically the only thing I would say is I always started and stopped in the same spot and I kept it toward the back of the tassel so that a majority of it looks, you know, um, uniform and pretty. All right, party people, that's it. We are done. We are done. We are done. We are finished. Anyway, how did yours turn out? This is how mine turned out. This is my little color scheme. Isn't that cute? Anyway, that's it. I thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you were inspired. If you were, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please be sure to try the projects that have been demoed here. And if you are not a subscriber, I definitely invite you to become a subscriber so that you can stay up with all the different videos and content that I'm going to be posting on my channel. Again, I thank you so much. I wish you back success and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.